Hi hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Genesis GLS spin leveling system. Leveling clips are vital for large format tiles, which are often bowed, and leveling clips really help reduce that lippage and give you a flat, seamless finish. I've used various different kinds, and these Genesis ones are the best in my opinion. So let's get spreading and show you how to use them. This is the base, this is the part that slips in behind the tile. Just spread the wall first, then slip in behind. As this is a 90 centimeter tile, I'll be using three across the length. If it was a 60 centimeter tile, I'd probably just use two. And a good rule of thumb is to come about 10 centimeters in from the edge. This one here is a two millimeter joint. You can get them in three millimeters, but I think uh, personal preference, the smaller the joint, the better. Now, as this is a large tile, I've spread six millimeters on the wall and spread 10 millimeters on the back of the tile. This is to make sure we get a good connection because of the bow in the tile. This will make sure we get our 90% coverage. So we place our tile and give it a wiggle. These are the caps that you'll literally just spin and tighten to the base. Like this. I like to put them to a medium tension to start with. And when I've got the rest of my row of tiles in, I'll go round and give them a full tighten. As easy as that. Huh. Right, let's get the second one in. The caps are reusable after you've removed them, so for your next job you just need to get new bases. Spin the caps on, as easy as that. And like I say, when I feel happy the tile's in a good place, I'll go around and tighten them all up. Don't need to go too mad with the tightening, just tighten them like you would for a screw, don't over tighten them. You can hear with the sound when you're at the limit. And yeah, so now I'm happy I'll go around and tighten them all up and then we should be looking good. Check the flatness with the level and then on to the next row. While I buy some show baiting of course. And that's it, all complete. It's a perfectly flush wall. It's got no lippage at all. And that really is the standard these days we're looking for. And to remove them, it's really easy. You can either kick them or you can use a rubber mallet like I like to, but they will just push off. Just wait an hour or two. You can even remove them the next day if you like. But they'll just ping off and then you can just keep the caps and reuse them. I hope this video helped you in achieving a great finish like this. Take care, see you in the next one.